any of the symptoms or even be aware it exists. But blood cancer claimed more lives last year than both breast and prostate cancer. An awareness campaign has now got underway to try to put that right. And it includes an art installation which has appeared in Cardiff. At the same time, charities are calling on the devolved governments to give it the priority they say it deserves. Here's Jennifer Jones. From a distance, they look like ice sculptures, but step closer and they tell you their story. It's one of the least spoken about cancers. Ten figures helping make blood cancer visible. But what is blood cancer? Well, it's a broad term used to describe over a hundred different types of cancer that affect the blood, the lymphatic system or the bone marrow and they include leukemia, lymphoma and myeloma. Now blood cancers affect nearly a quarter of a million people in the UK every year and claims more lives than breast cancer or prostate cancer. My name is Emily Clark and unfortunately this week I have been diagnosed with cancer. Emily from Cumbran was 16 when she became ill. The children were all rushing around getting ready for school and Emily shouted down the stairs, Mum, have you shrunk my favourite jeans? And initially thought absolutely nothing of it. Um, she just felt that her jeans were a little bit tight. And how quickly did you get the diagnosis? Within four days, Emily decided that there was something wrong and off she trotted, took herself to the doctors. I have something called non Hodgkin's lymphoma. The type she couldn't come out of hospital while she had the cancer. So she went in on day one to be diagnosed and four months later she came out in remission with no time at home in between. This video you see in my first intervention. But a year and a half later it was back. Burkitt's non-Hodgkin's lymphoma was nothing I'd ever heard of before. But people, ha people who had heard of it reassured me saying it was the good cancer to have. And obviously there are no good cancers to have and we didn't get that happy ever after that we'd hoped for. Emily died in March 2016. She was 18. Her story is now part of a campaign to help make people aware of blood cancer symptoms. Back pain, weight loss, infections, temperatures, bleeding, bruising, all of these problems we can all come across innocently without having a serious problem. And it's about raising awareness that actually if these go on for a long time, if they're very significant, then there could be a deeper problem there that needs investigation. This installation will be moving to Manchester next week, but a promise from the Welsh Government to continue to improve and deliver the best treatment to people with all forms of cancer. This campaign could benefit blood cancer patients well into the future.